So today I'm talking about a P0421 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0421 code? Well, it's a warm up catalyst efficiency below threshold bank one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And the computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that's going into the cylinders. And then the second thing they do is they have heater elements built into them. And these monitor the catalytic converter. And for some reason, these sensors are reporting back to the computer that the catalytic converter has fallen below a 95% efficiency. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And bank one side of the engine is always the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that's going to be bank one. And the opposite of that is going to be bank two. If you have a four cylinder engine, then it wouldn't matter. You'd only have one bank. And so what would be some possible causes of a P0421 code? Well, the first thing that could cause this is one of those oxygen sensors just failed. It just needs to be replaced. There's usually two O2 sensors. You're going to have a sensor one called an upstream, and then you're going to have a sensor two called the downstream O2 sensor. Although sometimes there can't be more, it's a good idea to get a diagram where all your sensors are located. It just makes things easier. For example, this is a 2011 Nissan Frontier. And as you can see, the bank one O2 sensors are going to be right here and right here. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad O2 sensor. The next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the O2 sensors. If there's any issues inside of the wiring, like an open short, bad connection, something like this, it's going to cause the same symptoms as a bad O2 sensor. Basically, check out all this wiring. Be sure it doesn't look like there's no damage or anything like this going on. You can also test it to be sure that it's working correctly. There's some good YouTube videos on how to test the O2 sensors and the wiring. But the next thing on the list is going to be bad wiring going to the O2 sensors. And the next thing on the list is going to be that there's some kind of exhaust leak going on. And basically, if outside air is getting into the exhaust, then it can throw off these O2 sensors. It could cause them to get bad readings and do strange things and stuff like this. So take a look at your exhaust. Be sure it doesn't look like there's no leaks or anything like this going on because the next thing that could cause this is going to be an exhaust leak. And the last thing on the list is going to be that the catalytic converter is failing and that it's just gone bad. It just needs to be replaced. When a catalytic converter starts to fail, it's fairly common that it starts to get all clogged up, that pieces of it start to come apart and it gets all clogged up inside of there. And when this happens and it gets all clogged up, the engine has to work harder to push all the exhaust out. So if your engine is running harder, it doesn't have the power like it once did or anything like this then that's a symptom that the catalytic converter is starting to fail. When that happens and they do get clogged up, they're going to get hotter before the catalytic converter than after. Because normally a catalytic converter should be running hotter after a catalytic converter. But when it gets clogged up, it's going to be running hotter before the catalytic converter. So you can't use an OBD2 scan tool and you can check to see what the temperatures are. You can also use a low-cost temp gun and let the vehicle warm up for like 10-15 minutes so everything gets hot. And then you check the temperatures before and after the catalytic converter. And if the temperature is hotter before, then you know that catalytic converter is starting to fail or it's gone bad. There's some good YouTube videos on how you go about doing this. But the last thing on the list is going to be that the catalytic converter has just gone bad. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0421 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.